Paris and Bristol as one that began without really having the intention of showing his music to anyone. But he actually ended up becoming one of Howling Out's first real breakthrough artists. How, as a label, did you guys actually find All Over World? Um, it's a weird story. Um, before we moved to Bristol, we played at someone's album launch in London. And the band we were supporting, Ollie was in the band, but we didn't actually know that. So, and we, as Spectres, had a horrible night. We, you know, we played all right, we just didn't get on with anyone. It was just normal, like, you know, noise band stuck in the middle of two folk bands. We're like, what the fuck are we doing here? Um, and then, like, fast forward eight months or whatever, we moved to Bristol, and I got a job at Rise. And there was two jobs going, the person who got the other job was Ollie. Um, and we were both like, just on the day we started kind of chatting, and he was like, oh, are you in a band? I was like, yeah, I'm in Perspectives. And he was like, oh, I think I played with you. And then I'm like, okay, what's your band? And then it was really awkward, because I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, you guys. Um, but after about, you know, it must have been a couple of months, he he just like, he had a song online, and, and we had it at work. And uh, I was just like, I can only remember this guy that, you know, we hated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I never actually wrote music to present to people. It was like, you know, self therapy or uh, um, just a way of expressing myself. But it was like, it was for myself. It was never actually meant to be shown to anybody. and then obviously as they played it to more people and then got more sort of positive reactions it was like sort of gave me a, a certain confidence I guess yeah. to like take it further and actually show it to people. I still have that attitude now, really. It's still the same thing, it's just, I know people who listen to it, but hopefully it doesn't change the way I do it.
matter, wasn't it? And I was, yeah. This is yeah, like proper sort of knockout stuff. And then I think then on that night it was like right, we have to. And it took a while to convince him, didn't it? To, yeah. To want to put it out because he was didn't want to. He didn't want anything to do with being a band or anything like that, any fame or whatever. So he was just happy for it to come out. But we were just like, well, this is too good for it to be ignored. Yeah. It's going to get listened to by a few a few hundred people maybe, but it's it's better than that. And yeah, lucky he kind of um he he went for it. In sort of five years' time, how would you like to imagine it having developed? Um, the thing that I've always liked about Bristol and still love about Bristol is because there's no money here, really. There's no, like, all the big central labels of independent music are in, based in London. There's no real... There's a couple of things in Bristol, but they're all very small-scale independent labels. So there's never been a lot of money here. So all, all the artists I love and respect tend to be ones that have organically and naturally developed through necessity ne not necessarily for any kind of monetary gain it's it's these are people who just create art and make art and need to do it and there's something there's a lot more weight to that and there's a lot more to invest in as a, as a person who loves music when you see someone when you can tell it's the real thing <laughs> see through the bullshit and it's yeah. there is none in Bristol really I don't think anyway I don't see much of it and uh, I'd like that to just basically continue if, you, if you're saying five years down the line it'd be great if people were still able to do that but at least fund their way of living because I know a lot of some of my favourite artists are like really struggling in Bristol but they're some of the most incredible people I've ever met <laughs> It seems like even in the happier songs, you're not completely happy. Is that something deliberate, or is this, that just naturally how you write? Yeah, it just it, you know, like all my music, regardless of like what kind of mood the song is or how quick it is or slow it is, it's always going to have anxiety and depression and melancholic things in it because that's just that's where I draw from. I draw from like negativity and things like that. <laughs> music out and put on some amazing shows that's that's kind of more than we ever kind of thought we'd be able to mm. there's been a few times where I definitely at least what like we both thought like why are we doing this kind mm. of thing but then it's, it's because of like shows like tonight and putting the naturals album out we've got for some reason we've got a, a weird drive where we will just we just want we're relentlessly just pushing stuff out and whether it's our own music or other people's and, and stuff like that and I think hopefully if 
as long as people have seen it as that, like it's a sort of this relentless sort of need to be pushing good stuff out there, then if people look back and think that we did that, then that'd be good. supposed to sort of combat some more complex feelings and emotions that some people maybe don't get from the music they listen to and when they when they hear it I'd like people to at least feel some sort of level of relief or um, identification or like relating to it in some kind of way that makes them feel better. <laughs> Whenever I listen to them, to you know my heroes or whatever, they it's like they're speaking to me. They're just telling me how I feel and things like that. And I like to think that I can do that in a more sort of updated way. So that they, like all the sort of music I really love and listen to, they're all dead and have been for years. So it's kind of like I'd like to carry on doing that. There's been some insane, just insanely good, fun nights and, and, and good music, which in the grand scheme of things, that's when you start a label or put a promotion, if you put gigs on, that's all you want really to put, to be remembered for putting good music out and putting good shows on. A nice little legacy. Mm -hmm. <laughs>